I think of the Envoy filter chain architecture much like the registration process at a university. Before you can actually attend a class, sort of like calling a service in our world, you have to run the gauntlet of the registration process. So the links in the registration chain each have a unique function. One will ensure that your schedule is approved by an advisor. Another will verify that your financial aid situation is in order. Uh, still a third will maybe assign you to a residence hall or make sure you have a meal plan. All of these are essential to your educational experience and you generally have to navigate every single link in that chain before you can begin attending class. The registration process is much like the Envoy filter chain that a user request must navigate before it is allowed to access the service to which it's addressed. You specify the policies that you want applied to that request and Envoy activates the various links in the filter chain required to process the request. Depending on your specification, the individual links in the chain may do things like these. Apply a transformation to your incoming request, delegate to your IDP decisions about authenticating the originating user for the request, applying authorization rules against policies stored in an open policy agent, and evaluating rate limiting rules for your request. That's just a sample. It, it may even apply your own custom processing rules that you implemented in a WebAssembly module. At some point, of course, it's going to need to delegate your processed request off to the underlying application service and then process its response. You can even specify transformations on the response that occur on that side of the chain as well. The good news is that Glue Edge supports an extensive library of Envoy filters that it can use to construct the chain that processes your request. And if that library is insufficient, you can use WebAssembly to build your own.